What's up, Zane Facts fam? Today, we're diving into a relic from the past that revolutionized hunting and warfare, the Atlatl, also known as the Spear Thrower. This ancient device dates back over 30,000 years and was a staple across continents, from the frosty tundras of Europe to the vast plains of North America. By extending the reach and power of a thrown spear, the Atlatl turned everyday hunters into formidable warriors and changed the face of prehistoric combat. So how did this ancient tool work? Let's find out. Imagine a throwing stick with a hook or cup on one end. That's your atlatl. This ancient device may seem rudimentary at first glance, but it's actually an ingenious piece of prehistoric technology. The atlatl is essentially a long stick that serves as an extension of the human arm, allowing the user to throw a spear with greater force and accuracy than by hand alone. The mechanics of the atlatl are fascinating. One end of the stick features a notch or cup where the back end of a spear, or dart, rests. The thrower grips the other end of the stick, using it to leverage their throw. When the atlatl is swung forward, it increases the velocity of the spear, effectively amplifying the power of the thrower's arm. Think of it as the ancient equivalent of a baseball bat or a golf club, tools that enhance our natural abilities and change the dynamics of the game. With this simple design, our ancestors could throw spears further and with more force than ever before. The Atlatl's story stretches back a staggering 30,000 years. Our journey through the annals of history reveals this ingenious device not as a mere artifact, but as a testament to early human innovation and adaptability. Travel with us across the continents, where archaeological digs have unearthed Atlatls in the frosty terrains of Europe, the vast savannas of Africa, and the rich landscapes of the Americas. Each find narrates a story of survival and ingenuity, showing how our ancestors overcame their environmental challenges. In North America, the atlatl was more than just a tool. It was a game changer for over 10,000 years. Cultures such as the Clovis people, renowned for their distinctive stone tools, and the Maya, whose civilization blossomed into one of the most sophisticated societies of the ancient world, both mastered the use of this weapon. The atlatl elevated their hunting capabilities, allowing them to target quicker and larger prey from a safer distance. Let's break down the mechanics behind the atlatl's power. At its core, the atlatl operates on the principles of a lever. This ancient device essentially extends the length of the thrower's arm, increasing the leverage and thus the speed at which the spear can be thrown. Imagine your arm is a seesaw, with the elbow as the pivot point. Now extend that seesaw by adding the atlatl, and you've just increased the distance over which you can exert force. As you swing your arm forward, the atlatl moves with it, but because it's longer than your arm, it moves faster and covers more distance in the same amount of time. This is where physics comes into play, specifically, the conservation of angular momentum. The longer the lever, the faster the endpoint travels, catapulting the spear with much greater force and speed than could ever be achieved by the human arm alone. This ingenious use of basic physics allowed ancient hunters to throw spears farther, faster, and with more energy. It's clear the atlatl had huge benefits. But what exactly were they? The atlatl wasn't just a weapon, it was a survival tool. By extending the reach and force of a thrown spear, this ingenious device allowed ancient hunters to maintain a safe distance from large and potentially dangerous game. This distance was not just a luxury, it was a critical factor in survival, reducing the risk of injury or death during the hunt. The increased range and power also meant that spears could pierce through tough animal hides, which were often impenetrable with basic handheld spears. This capability ensured a more reliable food supply, crucial for the survival and growth of early human groups. It's clear that the atlatl's design was a key factor in the success and expansion of ancient civilizations. Beyond hunting, the atlatl had other significant impacts. Atlatls served more purposes than just hunting and warfare. Beyond their practical utility, these tools carried significant cultural weight. In many societies, the atlatl wasn't just a weapon, it was a symbol of authority and prestige. Intricately decorated atlatls, adorned with carvings and inlays, have been unearthed in various archaeological sites, suggesting their role as status symbols among ancient elites. Imagine a community gathering, 
where leaders brandished ornately crafted atlatls, not just for utility, but as a demonstration of social standing and spiritual significance. These events could have been pivotal in reinforcing social hierarchies and communal bonds. Moreover, atlatls played a crucial role in ancient conflicts. Empowering warriors with the ability to strike from a distance, they transformed the dynamics of warfare. The increased range and force provided by these spear throwers could shift the balance of power in battle, making them invaluable in both defense and conquest. As impactful as it was, the reign of the Atlatl had its limits. Enter the bow and arrow, the new kid on the block around 2,000 years ago. As this sleek newcomer made its debut, the Atlatl faced stiff competition. The bow's allure lay in its simplicity and rapid-fire capabilities, offering warriors a quicker way to reload and shoot. This marked a pivotal shift in ancient weaponry as convenience began to trump the older, more cumbersome atlatl. Yet the story of the atlatl doesn't end in the past. Today, the spirit of the atlatl lives on in a growing sport. Far from being relegated to the dusty shelves of history, the atlatl has found a new lease on life in the 21st century. Enthusiasts and history buffs alike are rediscovering the thrill of this ancient technology, turning what was once a survival tool into a compelling pastime. Across the country, atlatl clubs and societies are springing up, offering workshops and competitions. These gatherings are not just about hurling spears, they're a celebration of heritage and human ingenuity. For those looking to get involved, many of these clubs provide equipment and training to help beginners learn the proper technique and safety measures. If joining a club isn't your style, no worries. The Atlatl is also making its mark online. Replicas, ranging from historically accurate models to modern adaptations, are available for purchase. They allow anyone to practice Atlatl throwing in their backyard or local park. Grabbing an Atlatl means more than holding a tool. It's grasping a piece of history. From ancient times to modern day sports, the atlatl remains a testament to human ingenuity. As we explored today, its enduring legacy highlights the brilliance of early technological and cultural evolution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our past.